Getting started with ConvertBox. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get up and running with ConvertBox quickly. So let's dive right in. So after you've purchased ConvertBox, you're gonna to have to create an account and you'll end up on this page on the dashboard. First thing I recommend you do is you connect your account to your email autoresponder. You should have already set up at least one site and go here to settings, integrations, and I'm gonna use active campaign. I've already set this up for one, I can do it for another, so I'm gonna go ahead and add another one. I'm gonna call it this, and then I wanna to go to my active campaign account, and I need to get the API URL and key. And to do that, I wanna to go to settings, developer, copy that, and then connect. So now I've got multiple active campaign accounts connected. So next up, what I want to do is I want to create a campaign. So I'm going to go back to the dashboard. And I want to do that before I can use a create a new convert box because I need to have a campaign. So I'm just going to call this test. And before I go too far, I'm not going to choose a goal. That's all I'm going to do for now. Note that I've already got a uh, site selected. If I had multiple sites, I would have them listed here, but whatever you create is specific to that domain, so keep that in mind. So I have a campaign, nothing fancy. Next is to create a new convert box. Give it a name. I'm just going to call it test. Select a campaign, basically the one I just created. Now I get four different options. Do I want to have a bar, slide in, center modal, or a full page? I'm going to choose center modal. And you can go across the top here or simply click on next to customize it. Now, these are your options. Whoops. Um, all of these you can put in. You can do profile. I'm not going to do that. I can have my, a picture. I can have my name and I can have my title. If I click on this, it'll give me the options. If I click right here, give me the options. I'm not going to do that. You can have a headline. And sure, we'll have a headline. I could change the colors if I want. I'm gonna to go to subheadline. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna skip the image, skip the video. All of that would be good to do. Now, buttons and opt-in form, you can have one, but not the other. You have to have one. Buttons are good, especially if you wanna ask questions. And notice I can click here. I can also click this little green button, which will allow me to add another question. So for instance, Now for each of these, I can do a couple things. I could link to a web page. I can go to a second step, which would typically be the opt-in, or I could simply close the convert box. So if I was go to a, le a web page, I would make it specific to a woman. If I did this for a man, I'd make sure it's a man. So for instance, let's just go to a second step. And in this case, I'm just gonna add a web form. I'm gonna click here. Importantly, you wanna click on autoresponder actions, select the one you chose, select the account, and then you've got multiple options. Normally, I would recommend do add to automation. There's no sense in doing multiple actions even though you can. Let your autoresponder do that. I'm not going to do that even though I said I normally would. I'm just gonna put them on a list. Go ahead and save that. I could keep adding more and more actions. I could have another name field. Um, we could have a content consent checkbox for GDPR reasons, but that's all I'm gonna do for now. So I'm gonna go to step two, and I'm basically, I could put them on a different list at this point. And I'm simply gonna put them on a list. Might, I might put them on a different list. I'm not going, well, actually, what the heck I will. So I'm going to go back to step one. So if they're a woman, they go on one list. If they're a man, they go on another. And I'm not doing an opt-in form here. I'm basically doing it on the second page. No countdown timer. Display, you can have it show on any pages, or you can have it link so that if they click a link and go to a site, it basically wraps it around that site. I'm going to leave it here. How often do you want to show it? Just going to leave it immediately. Uh, the duration how many times you want to do that, and then display on certain pages. And what's nice is you can actually exclude or include pages. And then you can match on, does it begin with, does it exact, or does it contain? Again, I'm just gonna leave it real basic for now. And then targeting. 
show to all visitors, which is typical, or you can get very specific and say exactly where you want them or how to display it based on number of visits, where they came from, device type, visited page, if there's anything in the URL keyword string, uh, have they seen ConvertBox, what site referred them, and then autoresponder activity. And this is very powerful. Again, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna say this one, and then I can choose whatever options. Are they on a list or not? Do they have this tag or not have this tag? But I am gonna cancel that. There is a little extra work you need to do uh, to enable that. So if you were to send out an email, you would have to include a question mark active campaign underscore ID equals percent email percent as a way to activate this feature. I'm gonna click on finish. Go ahead and click on activate now. I'm gonna install the plugin. Paste in the code I just copied. Okay, so now any pages I have on here should display that. And there it is. Are you a man, are you a woman? And then I would be put onto the appropriate list. So that's how you can quickly get started with ConvertBox.